Chad Cheek, what the, what was this like for you? Why did you suddenly decide to just take this rebuilding into your own hands? We did. We were trying to figure out how to do it on our own. Um, Trustee Shaw sat down with Trisha and I and wanted to meet with us. And he's like, we know a couple of neighbors over in this uh, area that they call the AAB. And if you guys can get with them, you the best way to move forward they found from other cities was to have a cohort and to try to work together. So and you decided not to go with the county. You decided to, to get the debris removal done yourself. One, one of our neighbors had the idea that we could make this work. And so we banded together, we pulled our resources and we had one contractor go through and do the debris cleanup. When we found out we were on the end of the list, that would have assured us that we wouldn't break ground until 23. So we did it by July 15th. The houses were cleaned up. Uh, we were faster than FEMA. Honestly, the quality was really great that Vancara did, so we're very grateful for them. Um, it wasn't just Trish and I, it was a village here. And right now, everybody's yeah, you'll get like figuring out their path on their own and what's right for them. But several are gonna rebuild because we banded together and whether it's Boulder Creek or Homebound or Remington, we just wanna rebuild. We want our neighborhood back and it's gonna take everybody's efforts to do it. And that's what today means is we're the first to break ground in this section. This is our neighborhood. We're coming home. So Trisha, tell me how you feel. I mean, you got that, What? what is that, an excavator? Um, backhoe excavator? <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm just, relief. Just relief that dirt is moving, finally. I know, I know in the grand scheme of things, it's probably fast, but it doesn't feel fast. <laughs> Hey boys, what's, uh, what's it like for you? You got to get out of school, you've had donuts, you've had burritos, but what a year, yeah. man, right? Yeah, um, it, it was pretty rough in the beginning when we moved to Frederick, like, um, for starters, that happened, and then, uh, and then uh, we couldn't hang out with any of our friends as much because we were 30 minutes away from virtually everything. But we pulled through and we got a rental in uh, Superior until this is done. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. Yeah, Nathan, how about you? You got your Bart Simpson shirt on and everything. I mean, yeah. what a year. Bart Simpson. <laughs> how do you feel today? Um, I feel excited because we have the dirt, rock, minerals moving. What, what do you miss most about your old house? Um, what do I miss the most? What made you the most sad when this house was destroyed? Probably all my drawings. <laughs> all your what? Drawings. Oh, your drawings. Yeah, and my room. Yeah, so you lost all of that. When you guys left that night, what did you take with you? What did you have? All I had with me was my phone, my Chromebook, uh, power cables for each, and that's basically it. Uh, my dad rescued uh, some stuff too, like my Boy Scout plaque, um, and then he also rescued a lot of pictures, so, and he also rescued Collins Pinewood Derby uh, stuff, so. And your trumpet. Yeah, and my trumpet. And your trumpet, that's awesome. Yeah, and our school bag, so we definitely saved a lot of stuff, but we lost a lot of stuff too. What did that teach you? Did you, did you learn much this year about uh, stuff? It teaches me that everything is replaceable except for people. We got out with our dog and everybody in the family and that's what matters most.